Houston, we have a problem. What's up guys, happy 4th of July. Back with another video. I got a new project car yesterday and you're not gonna believe this. I got a 2018 Ford Focus ST for $2,500. Yes, $2,500. So you're probably thinking this thing's crashed or the engine's blown up. But it runs and drives, but it is crashed. So we'll take a look at it here in a second. It's a pretty cool story. I was on Facebook, literally refreshing Marketplace, and this Ford Focus popped up. And it was an ST. It was not far from where I was at. I literally had cash on me. It was only posted for two minutes when I messaged the guy. And he said he would take $2,500. I said, I'm on my way. Grabbed the money, grabbed my truck, and headed that way. And here it is. Look at that let's check it out all right so here she is it doesn't look like it's wrecked but it is it's over on the corner on the passenger front so we'll check that out here in a second the story is the guy was swerving from a deer in all this rain and then went off the side of the road into the mud and it was stuck and he shut it off and decided he was just gonna sell it because this was the fourth time this car has been wrecked so let's check out the damage here. So when I first went to look at the car, I noticed the engine computer was basically hanging on the ground. So before the tow truck came, I bungee corded that up. So we got some damage over here, some damage down here, but the main impact was over here on the passenger side here. So as you can see, it doesn't look that bad but looks are deceiving. And the guy just wanted to get rid of the car. Like I said, this was the fourth accident this car's been in, I think in the front. Apparently the first time he wrecked it, there was a dog that went through the front of the grill and was stuck up in the engine. And apparently the cop came there to the accident and uh, was getting ready to shoot the dog because I guess it was dying, but then it ran out of the car and ran up in a tree. And then he wrecked it three other times. So he said the, the repair cost when the dog hit it was about 6,000. And then the car was in two other accidents. And I think they were all three accidents, I think were in the front end or four, including this one. But so the dog incident was 6,000 6, repair. And then the second crash was $8,000 repair. And then there was a third incident that was $11,000 repair, which this car just got repaired about, um, I think about three weeks ago. And then this happened. So the owner was like fed up. He thinks the car's cursed and he didn't want to turn it in on insurance because he thinks they might just drop him. So he just put it on Marketplace. He's, it, the listing actually said free on there. So I offered him 2,000. He came back with uh, 3,000 and then I countered with 2,500 and he said, come get it. He said, I'm on my way. And I put the pedal to the metal and he said it runs and everything. I didn't even try to start it. I said. Hell, for 2,500, it's worth it, you know, either way. So I just snatched it up and got it here at the house. So I haven't even really looked at it yet. One of the big issues with it is the hood won't even open. So it's popped inside the car, but then there's an issue here with the, uh, I think the cables broke for this thing. So I got to figure out how to get the hood up. That's step one. And then I'll proceed to uh, take the headlight out, maybe the bumper off in the hood off and see what all it's gonna to take to fix it. But it doesn't look too bad, really. I mean, obviously the headlight's blown out here and the hood's dented here pretty bad. And it's tweaked up here, but I mean, all in all, I think this is gonna be a pretty decent fix. You know, it might not be perfect. You know, I probably won't make it perfect because I honestly don't really care. I'll just drive it, but um, I'm gonna be balling on a budget, that's for sure. I'm gonna try to fix it for less than $1,000. I know that's probably not gonna happen, but I'll search far and wide for cheap parts and junkyard parts and, but you never know, I might just put some uh, zip ties on it. And, <laughs> but let's look over the rest of the car here. I think they call this color like red hot pepper or something like that. Oh, that's great. 
There's no gas cap, I just noticed that. Car also came with both keys, which is always nice. The owner said too that the um, car is all original. It doesn't have any mods, which is nice. There we go. It's got the all weather mats too, which is nice. Looking this car over for the first time right now with you guys, so. I like these handles. It's got one on each side, pretty cool. And I noticed it's got LED uh, license plate lights and a backup camera from the factory. Pretty sweet. And you'll see the uh, ST logo there. And then I don't know why people keep these dealer stickers on here, but that'll be gone quickly. I might even take the focus part off and just leave the uh, ST on there. And it's got the clear lens up in the spoiler. I know a lot of people put the RS spoilers on there. I'll probably eventually do that. I'm kind of digging the OEM wheels, but I also think like a, a mesh, like a BBS would look really good on this car. It's got good window tint. Got the little extra mirror there. The inside's really dirty. He said whenever they crashed it, it was real muddy and they did power wash the front off. That's why the front's so clean but the interior's got a lot of mud in it. And it does have the cloth seats. I was bummed about that, but for 2,500 bucks, I mean, I'm happy with cloth. That'd be just fine. And once again, we got the all weather front mats as well. Little ST down there. Back seat, a little dirty, but no rips. It's got some decent leg room. Got the uh, all weather mats back here. Oh, uh, there's my uh, knockoff Crocs. Ro Shout out to Royal King. No they got knockoff Crocs for $9.99. I'm going to see if I can build this whole Focus in nothing but Crocs with no socks. The oh, that's neat. It's got like a little airflow section there. All right, now the driver's side. Now here's where all the mud is. So that'll be easy to clean all that up. Good thing it's got the all-weather mat in there. So it's got all manual seats, which is nice. A little ST logo there. Jump in here and check out the interior. As you can see, it's got the ST here. I love the steering wheel on this thing. It's got the uh, leather the stitching and the, whatever you call that, perforations there. And all the bells and whistles here. Cruise, radio, uh, hands-free phone uh let's see oh i love this up here the gauges let's see oil temp boost pressure and oil pressure pretty dirty in here i can't wait to get it cleaned up but that'll be one of the last things i do and it's a non-sunroof car which is kind of cool i actually like sunroofs but hey less is more i guess Pretty cool, little dome lock. Oh, it's even got a light on there. Hello. I'm filming all this on an iPhone, by the way. I did start it at his house. Oh. Let's turn that off before we get copyrighted here. As you can see, it's got the little screen here and another screen over here, which, let's see. Oh yeah, it's got a pull ring for reverse. Oh yeah, there we go. Backup camera. Oh yeah. Let me shut the. All right, there we go. All right, as you can see here, seventy-nine thousand miles, which is insane. So yeah, I think I got a pretty sweet deal. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'm excited to get started on it. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is try to get this hood up because without getting that up, I can't really go much further. I'm not gonna waste any more time videotaping it. I'll get this thing all torn apart and then I'll do an update video. Three hours later. <sighs> well, I ended up getting a lot done. It's not as bad, eh. I guess it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Check this out. Oh my goodness. All right, so this is what took the main grunt of everything, as you can see. So that thing right there pretty much saved us from a lot of other damage. It was a little easier than I thought to take it apart. So I definitely need this bar. Definitely need 
that plastic core support. I definitely need a radiator because that's all it was leaking coolant and a bunch of other stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and order all the main components and a lot of zip ties and duct tape. And I think we'll be able to put this thing back together. So, and some JB weld. I think I'm just going to JB weld this bumper back together. Mosier works special. So here we'll get a little closer look over here. There she is in all of her glory. But yeah, it was kind of all came apart easier than I expected. Definitely a lot of broken plastic pieces. All in a day's work, not too bad. And my intercooler too here is a little bit busted. But once again, I think I might get the old JB weld out. Don't tell anybody. Wish me luck, guys. See you on the next one.